Now we can do a multiple choice math question that about half the people got wrong when they took it on an official GRE test. By weight, liquid A makes up 8% of solution R and 18% of solution S. If 3 grams of solution R are mixed with 7 grams of solution S, then liquid A accounts for what percent of the weight of the resulting solution? Let's break this down. They're asking us about liquid A and what percent of the weight of the resulting solution is liquid A. Well, solution R has 8% and solution S has 18%. If we just add those two numbers, we get 26%. That's an answer, but it doesn't look like the right answer. If we just split the difference between 18 and 8, we get 13. That's another answer, but that doesn't look like a right answer because that would be the pure average, and this is a weighted average. We have 3 grams of solution R and 7 grams of solution S. If we make the mistake of adding 3 and 7, we get 10. And there it is. It's an answer, but it's a wrong answer. Now we're down to 15% and 19%. We use a little common sense. If one has 8% and the other has 18%, the whole thing can't have 19%. So our answer is C, 15%. Now let's check our answer using a teeter-totter. The teeter-totter averages everything out. We have 8% of solution R and 18% of solution S, and then we know that the average is really 15%. Now look, the difference between 8% and 15% is 7%, and the difference between 15% and 18% is 3%. We have 3 grams of the 8% solution and 7 grams of the 18% solution so on either side of our teeter-totter, we have 21 total. So it averages out, it balances out, when the average is actually 15. We could do it the old-fashioned way. We could just say, well, if we have 8% of one and 18% of the other, and we multiply one by 3 grams and the other by 7 grams, we get... 24% for one, and we get 126% for the other. We add those together and get 150%. We divide it by the 10 grams, and we get 15% per gram. There's answer C. Now let's use our teeter-totter to answer a question that doesn't have any answer choices and only one-third of the people got it right when they took it on an official GRE test. The average arithmetic mean of the 11 numbers in a list is 14. If the average of 9 of the numbers in the list is 9, what is the average of the other two numbers? Let's break this down and let's use our teeter-totter. The average of the total is 14 and one of the averages is 9. So we put those on our teeter-totter. There are 9 numbers that average 9, and each one of those numbers is 5 away from 14. So overall, we're 45 short of that average of 14 on the left-hand side. So on the right-hand side, we have to make up for that 45. But there's only two numbers to do it with. So each one of those numbers has to account for 22.5. If we add 14 and 22.5, the average of the other two numbers must be 36.5. That's our answer. Now we can check our work using the old-fashioned way. The overall average is 14 for our 11 numbers. 
So we have a total of 154 elements to be accounted for. And 9 is the average of 9 of those numbers. So we have 81 elements already accounted for. We have to subtract that 81 from the 154, and that means there are 73 other elements that have to be accounted for, and only two numbers can account for those 73, so each one has to be 36.5. So if they ask for what is the average of the other two numbers, we can use a teeter-totter, we can use old-fashioned arithmetic, and both ways we get 36.5. Testing for the public. Nonprofit since 1985. No one makes things easier.